This chapter will acquaint you with projects in Rustwin, workflows in Rustwin, budgets in Rustwin. Rustwin contains an integrated project module. The purpose of this module is to establish projects such as dry docking, retrofit, etc. The project module may also be used to organize all of the activities that should take place during a port call. A new project may be entered into the system by selecting project list from the menu and clicking the new icon. Now we enter all the relevant information about the project and save the changes by clicking on the Save button in the toolbar. To enter project activities, you must first select the project with which you want to work with. From this screen, a selection of activities may be performed. By pressing Shift plus F1 in the Project field, we can select our project, Project ID. To enter a new project with no activities, click on the OK button. The following screen is displayed. To insert a new project activity, we must click on the New button on the toolbar. Insert the relevant information such as instructions, resources, spare parts, etc. and save the entries by clicking on the Save button on the toolbar. The activities are organized in the planning board according to the duration of the activity. The appropriate timescale may be chosen under the main menu's Select Timescale option or by right-clicking with the mouse. Moving activities from the work module into the project makes establishing a new project more efficient. Activities may be moved either from the scheduled job list, work request list, or the work order list. You may start transferring data by first opening the appropriate list and selecting Tile Horizontal Vertical. Select the scheduled jobs to be moved and use the Connect button in the toolbar to connect the jobs into the activities list. The activity number can be entered when the following screen appears. Enter the activity number and click on the OK button. The new activity is entered in the planning board. Rustwin is designed to export and import project activities to MS Project or SureTrack for further processing. The Export Import function is located in Project Menu, active only if Project List or Activity List is selected. Work orders may be created directly from the Planning Board. Clicking with the mouse button highlights an activity. The activity changes color. To select more than one activity, hold down the control key while left-clicking on the activities. The selected activities will become highlighted.
Now we can create a work order by selecting the proper option from the project menu. Work orders are established and are transferred to the active work orders list. To enable the use of previous data, a copy function has been integrated into the project module. This makes it possible to copy information from one project to another and to establish standard projects for overhauls that may be used as a basis for new projects. Select Copy another project from the project menu. Select the project you are going to copy first and the eventual relevant technical account. Mark any lower levels to be included and whether to insert new or to update existing activities with the same numbers. This will depend upon whether or not a specific system for numbering activities has been developed. By selecting the option buttons, it's possible to select which information will be copied from the project. We can mark information to be copied and then click on the OK button. The workflow module functions as a tool for routing tasks such as work orders, purchase orders, requisitions for permission to work, tendering. Work orders and purchase requests and orders can all be connected to one workflow route or directly to one workflow address. Each user can only be connected to one workflow address. One or more users can share one workflow address if two or more persons share the same job responsibility. When a user opens his workflow tasks form, all tasks connected to his workflow address will be available. One or more users can work on the same workflow address at the same time. Rustwin contains a workflow address list, that is a list of all defined workflow addresses in the database. To enter the workflow address list, select WF address list from the workflows menu. The form is comprised of a list that displays of the known workflow addresses with index and name. Users connected to the active addresses are listed below with user index, name and section. The form is comprised of search fields for entering workflow addresses and or names as selection criteria. The query mechanism allows for SQL wildcards to be entered, question mark or asterisk, and will apply the asterisk wildcard to the end of any query field that doesn't contain a wildcard character. Thus, any criteria entered without wildcards will result in a set of workflow addresses with matching characters at the start of the field. To connect users to the workflow addresses, select Workflow menu followed by Connect user to address. A list of users will be displayed. The list shows registered users in the system. We can select user from the list followed by clicking on the select button. This form contains the workflow route list, that is a list of all defined workflow routes in the database to enter the workflow route list.
The display shows a list of all defined workflow routes. Only the first routes, sorted by root ID, will be shown on screen. The size of the display may be changed using standard Windows procedures. The workflow route list has both selection and search facilities that can be used by entering combinations of root ID and or root name in the fixed search fields above the list. Use the ascending descending button to sort the list by root ID list of routes. Depending on which search fields that are filled the list will be sorted by this object. If several search fields are filled the list will be sorted from left. The primary sorting key will be, starting from the left, the first filled search field. The workflow's task list is, as the name indicates, a list of all defined workflow tasks in the database related to a workflow address. The display shows workflow address and name and tabbed task lists related to the user. The new task tab is shown by default. The list is comprised of the following information. Response time. Latest response time before return to forwarder. WFID. Generated by system. Task ID. Work order. Work Request, Purchase Order ID Task Group Work Order, Work Request, Purchase Order Action Task Action Description Forwarder Who the task is sent from Send Time Time when the task was transferred from Forwarder The budget module in Rustwin is a standalone application that shares data with the main application. The budget application can be started independently from the main application. The system is based on a matrix of technical accounts and financial accounts used to structure and categorize the budget records. Several financial accounts can be grouped together and summarized as budget accounts, which can be used as the main calculation unit instead. A configuration parameter in the Rust INI file indicates which account type to use. A budget may be divided into periods for example quarterly, monthly, for improved cost control. The starting date for a budget year can be set to any date. The budget module has no actual costs. Actual costs and budget deviation information are available in reports.